I've worked with different um, videographers throughout. Like, Disco Alamo was shot by um, OG Music Natho and my girl Brittany takes photos. That was my very first music video. And I I look at them in comparison to, like, where I'm at now. And then I go back to Disco Alamo. And there's so many things that I right. would redo. <laughs> but um, that was my very first music video. We literally, like... I remember telling Brittany about the vision that I had and I'm like, I really want to be in a TV, but that's dumb. I don't think, and she was like, you want a TV? We'll make you, we'll put you in a fucking TV. We're going to make it happen. Brittany literally built like props from hand and like when people take you serious, it, it helps you. Like by, we talked about it, that conversation, I'm, you know, you could talk, we could talk about like, oh, I want to do this. And then we leave it at that. Mm -hmm. By the time I came home, she emailed me a, a fucking storyboard and yeah. drew out sketches and ideas. Now, from what I was talking about, I could see it on paper. I could see it literally like it where it was. So I see she was on board. She wasn't just talking. We went from there and boom, it happened. And then like um, Good Greet Art Studios, um, Kip Now Voice, he shot different videos as well. So the one bitch I'm happy, <laughs> that one I think it's very similar to to the other one. To Disco Alamo? Yeah. I mean, it's in the, it's like, it's right. got the same colorful vibe. Yeah. Right? Bitch, I'm happy. That was <laughs> I love that one. I love that Yeah. <laughs> I, that whole song is basically, like, I was really depressed when I wrote that song. Yeah. And what I wanted to make sure I incorporated in the video was color therapy. Super bright. Super fun. Oh, really? Yeah. I wanted to, I wanted it to feel what I'm saying. So I know if we have bright colors and all this stuff, I'm looking at this and I'm like, I'm happy. The funny thing about that video is, uh, I shot that shit on the, literally in the middle of July in like Dixon somewhere in the, off the side of the freeway. Really? I literally found the, the, the daisies or sunflower field on the way on the freeway, getting my hair done. I said, that's where I'm going to shoot the video. We got up, um, Dag and his wife, Jazz. Jazz is pregnant. She was, yeah, she was pregnant. Super pregnant. Not super, but pregnant. Yeah. Um, it's hot. We get out there at like 10. My girl Ari did my makeup early in the morning. And when I tell you, Billy, it was so fucking hot. So where was this? Like near Bakersfield or something? Um, or? It's in the middle of Sacramento oh, and Sacramento? Um, Vacaville. Yeah. But what a great find. Perfect location. It was yeah. perfect. But when I tell you... Um, I, and my girl, Pat Peacock, uh, was able to dress me and, but when I tell you, Billy, I was so fucking hot. Like I remember being in that and we couldn't trespass. So we had to hurry up and get that shit done. I was like, I'm in it. I, once, once I feel like there's a vision, I'm, I don't give a fuck. I'm getting my shot. I'm jumping. I'm an artist all the way. We're trying not to trespass. We get in there. It's so hot. So the funny, like story behind it every time i'm turning away from the camera on the video i'm like what the fuck bitch i'm happy i'm good I'm, oh my fucking god bitch, I'm happy. like i'm screaming I'm like what the fuck and like there was a point where i almost passed out because it was so hot but i didn't want to tell anyone because i knew they would be more concerned about me and not the once I'm in the vision, the shot has to get shot. So uh, people asked, was that green screen or anything like right. that? It was, we were literally outside and off the fucking It'd be so freeway. Beautiful too. Uh -huh. It's so beautiful. It's beautiful. Right? And then that fucking truck, there's like this nasty ass truck <laughs> where I'm standing with the cow pans. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a shot. That truck was so gross. That was an abandoned truck. It was so nasty that I had to stand. Because <laughs> I did it was so gross. But... It was just perfect. And if there's a shot that we're yeah. going to do, we're going to get it. I go, it's funny because we shot that in the living room. <laughs> a lot of that was in the living oh, room. Oh, really? Yeah. We were just, there will be times where like I have um, modes where I just want to create. And we were all hanging out the house. I walked out and I have a lot of props and weird shit around the house. I walked out and I'm like, hey, we're going to start shooting a music video right now. Let's just do it. Um, But we shot it on the camera. Um. He uh, did photography for like Life Touch, so there's like backdrops and stuff like that. So I threw on like some wigs, masks, and we got to it, and literally in the living room. 
and I didn't have a treatment or anything. I didn't write anything. I just went with it. And I go, came about. And do you normally film things like when you did the El Rio on 415? Did mm -hmm. you film that? Your show there? No. We, it's recorded by many different phones. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. I think it's somebody camera have it, had the camera. Yeah. It, it should have been a video. 415 Day, you video. did that. It you had my phone. I had her phone. Because when you do a show, you really put on a show, right? Yeah. The time, so I try. It's and, film worthy. Yeah. yeah. Um, I will, like, Vivid, um, my friend Vivid, they'll come out and they'll, like, shoot and give, Good, they've been, yeah. yeah, they've been there, like, not, they were actually at my, um, show earlier and, oh, just clutch. And that's important to have, if, if, especially, like, when people come out and get those images or those stills. Right. But for the most part, if I don't have someone, like, that's shooting in the crowd, James will, like, get my phone or you know. my song ain't on me um that's another one we produced by 3d smash shout out okay. to 3d smash thank you billy god damn because i forget all the time yeah no give the producer a shout out <laughs> shout out to all the producers nicotine um 3d smash they're, they're the first two to like really help me um tc my uncle tc of i course. love him i love legendary and he t honestly tc has played a tremendous I'll just say it. No AMK without TC. Gave me a studio. No questions asked. The first that opened his door. I was there earlier today too. There would be no AMK without TC. Because you, you've officially put out one EP, right? Mm -hmm. In 2022? Yes. Yeah. And it's um, called Her Space? Out Her Space. Out Her Space. Mm -hmm. So that was produced with TC? One of the songs is produced with TC. A lot of studio. them are Nicotine and um, 3D Smash. So it has different producers on, on the um, the uh, project. And then um, shout out to my friends in LA that I've recently connected with about a year ago. Um, AC, the producer, and Andrew. They've actually, um, we've done a few songs and... They were the first to make a beat on the spot for me.